Hey Grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, but we're running pretty low on craft supplies. Let's head over to Walmart, cause that's the closest store here. Not sponsored, not affiliated. Right, Siko? Right. She's gonna be carrying my stuff. <laughs> Shopping time with Jackie and Siko. So we totally ran out of craft kits. One of you Grains tagged me on these things. So we're here to check some out. I'm gonna grab this one. So there's the option between vanilla bath bombs or lavender, and I do not like lavender. Vanilla it is. I kinda wanna get this just because the molds look really cool. Tangerine lemonade, yes. Vanilla? Yeah. yeah. Sika really wants to do a body butter, so we're debating between lemon burst and velvet rose. To me, it's obvious. See, I would have taken that one. <laughs> but okay, whatever, it's all right. I'll let you make some decisions. I love you. Why am I carrying all of this? Because I have to, I have to vlog it. So here we are back, and I am joined by my sister Sika. Hello. The uh, verb form. Human verb The human form. English I'm number cool. one. They're not very great today. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we gravitated towards another spa day. So welcome to Salty Spa, where you can breathe in and breathe out. And we're going to be looking at for craft kits from Walmart. The first one is a custom candles. This one is pretty exciting because I have yet to see a candle kit that actually works. Oh no, really? I had a lot of hope for this one. <laughs> Ugh. The next one is bath bomb kit. Pretty excited about this because the last bath bombs we made were pretty fun, except for the end result. And then we have soap bars. We didn't notice, but we just realized that this one is green tea flavor. I mean, flavor because you're eating that, right? Don't tell me what to do. You naughty, I'm gonna wash your mouth with green tea soap. <laughs> Little. <laughs> And last but not least, a body butter. That one we took just because she absolutely wanted it. It says velvet rose. I'm kind of curious what it smells like. Rose? Velvet. A velvety rose. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't smell like velvety rose. <laughs> the first kit we're going to be looking at is custom candles because we all know before you get into a spa, you need to set the mood. Right? Yeah. And chillax. Chillax. <laughs> that is so 90s. One of the things we didn't realize is that this is lavender rose. She so messed up. She I, hates lavender. I hate lavender smell, so I done messed up. What's interesting about this kit is that it is advertised for adults, which means it's looking serious. Technically, I would have missed it if you grades hadn't tagged me to this. And another thing that I noticed is that also it is made by Horizon Group. Horizon Group is the same company that also does the Barbie kits and the lip balm kit that we tested together, which was actually it worked yeah the lip balm my, my lips are pretty pink for a couple of days actually yeah it, it, the lip balm worked but uh, they have a history of not working usually so I'm curious. all right time to see where's my pointy sharp tool my point my sharp pointy tool <laughs> let me know should i give her a sharp pointy tool <laughs> you're having trouble with it too now <laughs> i was like computing <laughs> let me know in the comment section below whether or not i should give her one permanently yes or no i say nay yeah so as i was saying time to see but we get inside. <gasps> Here's what we get inside. Two tin cans for the candle. These are $15, which means each one of these is $7.50. For a candle this big, it's pretty expensive. I mean, this small. Agreed. We get wax chips, but I don't think they're gonna be melting. We've had this issue before. We're gonna see what the instructions say, but for now, I'm pretty skeptical. Same here. Two colors of mica powder, one in purple and the other one in pink. <laughs> we get dried up flowers, so rose and lavender. Perfume in rose as well as lavender. Time to take a sniff test. You don't wanna smell the lavender, do no, you? No, I gave her the lavender. Ooh, that really smells like toilet. Let me smell that. Yeah, it smells gross. Lavender smells like the hand soap inside airplanes. It's very nauseating. Rose? Mm. Can I smell? Ooh, I like that. It smells like Arabic cookies because we reuse ro- Oh, can you hear that? <laughs> can you grains hear that? Yeah, it, it's raining up a storm. I swear if we lose power. <laughs> She's scared of thunderstorms. Let's take an intermission. Two wicks some decorative stickers for the outside, two stirring sticks in which I absolutely ruined one. They're quite flimsy. They're garbage. Garbage. And an instructional manual. So while reading the instructions, my spider senses were tingling. Because last time when, when, when a kit Go on. told me to put wax chips into a microwave safe bowl, put it in the microwave for two minutes, it did not melt. Not only did it not melt, but I tried it into a plastic container that goes into the microwave. It burnt the bottom of my plastic and then it ruined my plastic and I just couldn't get it to melt at all. So now the question is, will this melt or will it ruin another container? What if we try a glass container? Let's find out. All right, so I'm gonna send Sika to go 
go pick up a glass container because she's my gopher. Go right, get it. I'm back with food. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Grains, help me. Let's play again. All right, what'd you get for me? Wait, did you just grab all the Chinese food that we had today? Yeah. Is your belly full? Apparently not. As the instructions mentioned, we just need to use our glue gun to put the wicks inside. That's pretty easy going. Even though I said it's easy for me, it's not always for everyone, right? Aw. <laughs> Careful, it's really hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Now for the part that we've been waiting for and I'm super skeptical about, time to open the wax chips and put it in the microwave. No, uh, it's got a zipper there. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, clap. I didn't see it. You did you say zipper? Yeah, I said zipper. <laughs> Slow clap for Seiko. So half of it has to go inside. I think that's about half. <laughs> Time and to microwave. For two minutes. So Should we do a full two minutes? We give it like one minute and stir because I'm really afraid. All right, let's do one minute and stirs. And stirs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are at the halfway point. How does it look? It's hot. It's like nothing ha- Ooh, actually. Is it starting to melt? A little bit. All right, back in there. One more minute. Very hot. Yeah, break my microwave. <laughs> All right, two minute mark. Let's see, Sika. Ooh. Did it melt? Yeah. <gasps> it's very hot though. I think it's because of the um, glass. All right, let's bring it to the table. And now according to the instructions again, once it's actually dis dissolved, melted, melted is the word I'm saying, we're going to add however much mica pigment and fragrance. They don't say how much, but they just say put it in there. Put it in. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we just have to pretty much pour it into the tin can and decorate it with whatever flowers we want. And we decided, hey, might as well make the whole thing, so we're going to do the lavender one as well. All right, so because of the heat, it seems to have pulled or pushed the wick right out, and there's no way for us to know how to put it back in, so we're just going to assume this position. Since we are two clever little Canadian beavers, we put it in between two sticks and tape. We're gonna let it let it settle. Here we are, we put it in the freezer just for about five minutes. Yeah, and it's it's already hardened and it smells like rose water. So good. Oh, it's so nice. So re nice. I was just so relaxing and so nice at the same time. I didn't think you heard me. You think I wouldn't hear you? The whole world heard you. So, time to try to trim it and then I don't know how much we're supposed to trim, but I'm going to assume here. Uh, usually candles are pretty far down here. Pretty pretty far down. There. Okay, I guess. And just to be very clear, this whole kit gave us two candles for $15, and they're not even all the way through. They are it's just a little bit over half, and that's about it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> that's what she s All right, here we go. Oh, oh, I burnt the rose. Oh my god, you're burning the roses. That's okay, we got this. Ooh, Is that safe? Burning the rose? Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be. It's gonna eventually touch the fire anyways. <laughs> As you can see, the flame is getting smaller and smaller. We're worried that it would, it's just gonna burn itself out. I don't think it's a whole burnout. <laughs> At least it's not burning at both ends. Mm -hmm. So at this point, why keep a candle if it's just not going to smell that strong because the scent is pretty faint? Yeah, you really gotta search for the smell, I guess, in a sense, to actually smell it. And the light is really low. Let's yep. try it out with the lights completely off. That's pretty dim. Can't really see around it. There's my hand. Yeah, you can't see very much. No, that's, that's pretty much how far it goes. All right, so I'm going to put this aside so that it's still burning by the time we finish recording, which is going to be a couple of hours. We'll see how far it goes but for about $15 I feel like the candles are pretty small the wick is burning out really quickly the only thing I liked about it was the activity it was fun it was short it wasn't complicated but so far it doesn't give out very much light not enough scent not enough anything honestly so little candle kit because of your lack of value in every way possible we would rate you in the train. next Bath bombs. Tangerine lemonade. Heck yeah. What really caught my attention wasn't just the bath bombs, but those little swirly colors in the bath bombs themselves. On the image? Yeah. Oh, obviously. Okay. Stop judging me. And also from the outside, it seems like we're getting mica powders and essential oils, but I don't know. Back of the box definitely shows that we should be able to make fizziness because it's a bath bomb, but I've been fooled before. Will I be fooled again? Stay tuned for the next episode. I mean this episode. You probably will be fooled again. Time to see what we get inside. Mm. 
Mwah. Love you. Here's what we get inside. A huge, ba uh, huge bag of bath bomb mix. Baking soda. Four colors of mica powder. Honestly, I'm really loving the fact that these companies now are starting to give us mica powders instead of any just old kind of colorant. We also get lemon and tangerine essential oil. Well, that is very faint. Lemon barely smells like lemon. Tangerine too. And tangerine barely smells like tangerine. One of the things I thought was really interesting is on the booklet itself, it says hypoallergenic, safe and easy to use. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so for those of you who actually have any kind of allergy, this might actually be a good option if it works. I'm excited, but skeptical. Sika? I really hope it works because I love bath bombs. Same here. So we're going to be putting two level tablespoons and one level teaspoon of baking soda, and then five level tablespoons of the bath bomb mixture. Once that's done, we're adding the quarter teaspoon of the mica powder of our choice. But since we want to do two colors, we're going to be separating the mixture in two and proceeding separately for two different colors and two different sets. All right, now for the moment of truth. It's been sitting in there for one minute as the instructions instructed, and we're going to tap it. All right, it's plastic. It should technically work, but I guess we'll find out. And ooh, tapa tapa. Ooh, pretty. Anytime a craft kit, Sika and I are like. Hmm. <laughs> even though the scent is pretty faint, it's still there. Yeah, I can only smell the lemon though. Lemon. Tangerine. <laughs> but there's no lemon. Yeah, it's lemon it's and lemon tangerine. And <laughs> now the biggest question. Does it fizz? And how well does it fizz? All right, now for the moment of truth. Let's see how well it fizzes and for how long as well. Let's hear it. Ooh, wow. That's actually really good. Look at the color. This is really pretty. Look at that. So the fizz lasted about one minute. The water does smell good. The activity was pretty relaxing. The instructions, holy moly, they were really good. Would you do this again? Yeah, definitely. Loved it. And I love bath bombs too, so it's a very fun activity because you actually get something out of it in a sense. Uh, well, we won't take a bath together, but we get to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just made some people really happy right now. <laughs> we can take a bath together and use a bath bomb. <laughs> One of the things that we calculated is that you would be able to make about three. Three bath bombs. <laughs> so think $15 for three, three bath, bath bombs. bombs equals $5 each. So approximately the price of a lush <laughs> bath bomb. <laughs> I'm just hand gesturing what you're saying. Got it. So for us, this kit would definitely be worth your, your cash. Tra your trash. Your trash. <laughs> Did we do the same kit? <laughs> for me, it's worth my cash. I don't know. It's worth my cash. I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have soap bar DIY kit. Don't know how I feel about soap anymore. I had one experience so far and it was crap. She had the jelly soap kit and I've never had a jelly soap kit work before, so was not impressed. This kit has me excited though because the molds look really cool. That's pretty much what attracted me to this box. Was the molds? The molds. Okay. I'm a simple salt grain. Mind you, this kit is different from all the others because this one costs a lot more. It was about 20? 20, 20 bucks. Yeah, about. But again, there's more than just the mold. Apparently we get like activated charcoal. Really? And some kind of clay. I don't know much about soap. You grains probably do. Do you know? No. I figured you wouldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea what clay or, or activated charcoal or charcoal does does for the skin or soap. And if you look in the back of the box, it looks like it really does have micro bubbles when you wash your hands. So we're gonna be testing that as well. Oh, you also did the mermaid soap. Yes. Did we test that one underwater? No, because it was gross. Yeah, yeah. Like a face. No. You know what time it is? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's still scared of Panda. Oh no, are you going under the table? There's Sika. Here's what we get inside. Five blocks of soap. Yup. Wait, didn't the package say that we were able to do four? Makes four fragrant soap. So even though it says that we should be able to make four soaps, they're giving us five blocks, which means we'll have to cut one of them in four. In four. I mean, they could have technically- What were they even thinking? I'll tell you exactly what they were thinking. Okay. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up, man? 
Uh, the, the box says that they need to make four, but we, we don't have that big size of, of soap. All right, man, just put in five. It's fine. They can math it out. Yeah, I, I think they need to math yeah, a little more. Yeah, yeah, we can't do everything no, for seriously, them. No, seriously, I think that's perfectly fine. I just put in five for let's, four. Let's do that. All right. We also get two blades and one charcoal, and those will be the colors for our soap. We have two essential oils, one honey and one green tea. I want to sniff the honey. I don't smell the green tea. I don't smell the honey. Switch. I think I smell the honey a little bit. I think I smell the green tea. <laughs> It's very light though. Yeah, it's really, really faint. But maybe in the mixture, it's it going to smell, smell better. Yeah. yeah, just like the bath bombs. You couldn't smell them until it got into the mixture. Exactly. A stirring stick. Two molds. And that's what I'm excited about. Look at that. We have like this kind of choppy top mold. There too, it's pretty nice. Choppy top but with like wavy forms. So the instructions again were pretty clear. We divided our soap since we want to make two different colors, melted them in the microwave, added our colorant powders and our essential oils. Just to update you grains, it's been about two and a half hours and it seems like the flame has gotten back. But as you can see, it's, it's only going down the middle and the rest is just staying as it is. It's had quite a bit of time to dry out. She's pretty skeptical whether or not it's going to come out of the mold. Yeah, I'm afraid it's gonna just ruin the mold. I think it's going to be better than the mermaid one. Yeah. yeah. You need to trust me. <laughs> All right, and we just need to let in some air and voila. Ooh, pretty. And we get to keep the mold to reuse it. Does it smell good? Yes, it smells like honey. Yeah, the top does smell. I really thought you were gonna smack me with it. I was like, <laughs> it smells nice. Yeah, it's it smells very honey. It's very faint though, but it's nice. Question is, is it bubbly? Sud. Oh, that's the word. Sud? Yeah. Does it sud? All right, let's see in the water. Here it is. So as you can see, it's pretty soapy, nothing more than normal soap as expected, I guess. So overall for $20, this kit worked. The smell was so-so, it could have been stronger, but the activity worked, it's pretty relaxing and everything is straight to the point. Now the question is, is it worth your cash or does it go in the trash? As an introductory kit, I would definitely say worth your cash. Last but not least, go <laughs> tea this kit promises that we should be able to make a velvet rose. Again, I'm very interested in the what velvet rose. What it smells like, yeah. So my guess is just going to be body butter. butter? Which means it's supposed to be thicker than cream. It's made for the whole body and not your face. Not your face? No, I don't think so. Isn't your face part of your body? Yeah, but it's body, not face cream. Oh, yeah, it's not just butter. It's not just butter? Is that what you just said? <laughs> Did you try to get away with that too? <laughs> yeah. And as you can see in the back, we do have this kind of process that looks pretty creamy. So I'm really interested in that. But I'm also curious, how many of them can we make? The vials look pretty tiny. Looks like we should be able to do two, but I guess we'll see. Time to do the doing. No! Give me that! <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Pink and peach colored mica powders. One plastic container. Sunflower oil. Two essential oils. One honey and one rose. Yeah, the honey still isn't very, is there, but not quite. I'm not sure if I can smell this. Is your nose broken? I might be. No, oh, no. <laughs> Let me smell. Your nose is broken too. I think my nose is broken. We also have shea butter and coconut oil. Here we have the base lotion. And we also have the instructional booklet. In the same way that the other kits were hypoallergenic, this one also is supposed to be hypoallergenic. But at $15, is it enough to get one? That better be one hell of a great ass freaking... <sighs> Let's just do the dough. So what we need to do is put the shea butter and coconut oil, scoop them all out and put them in the microwave. Once we have that, we're going to add the whole little container of sunflower oil. Then we squeeze the lotion inside the plastic container, add about 20 drops of whichever essential oil we want and mix everything together. Afterwards, we can put our colorant. So here it is all done. Does it smell good? Well, we poured the whole thing of rose and it smells rosy. It smells very rosy, kind of like rose mop, rose water. Rose water? Rose water. The word's so difficult today. So let's see how well it works. I have pretty dry skin, so I'm gonna try it on my... I don't usually use cream. Oh, it's clumpy. Is it? Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of a clump here and there. But that is pretty thick. I don't feel like my skin's absorbing it. It's a skin repellent. That is really, really, really juicy. So if anything else, it's a tattoo shiner. It does smell nice. It's quite yeah. buttery on the skin. It but, doesn't... But it for... <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. For <laughs> Oh my god, let me down! <laughs> I can't remember what I was gonna say again. My turn? Go on, yeah. But for $15, the activity itself took us only about three, three minutes. minutes. I love how in sync we are. 
<laughs> it really wasn't that much of an activity because all we did was take this and pour it into that and pour it into this and then mix it. So for me, as an activity, I would say definitely not worth your, your cash. cash. It would go in the trash. <laughs> Let us know which one you had the most hopes on. And remember, if you want to check out my vlog channel, I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can also follow me at Nerdy Crafter on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can follow me on Instagram at Nerdy Sister underscore Sika. Are you done? <laughs> I was following all your What are you even saying? Panic. You sound like angels. That's like, what, what I sound when I panic. <laughs> so do you. By the way, if you grains want to see more of this, Check out my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie. We post Q&As and uh, games <laughs> on there. You'll have to check it out. <laughs> if you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check it out down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.